De La Wright, my envies. Welcome. On your affair, it's rumored to have cried like shedded tears as um, Olori Naomi told him that she would rather sleep in an open field in a desert in Dubai than accepting the house that he bought um, for her in Dubai. We had uh, um, uh, a rumor recently that the owner of Ife went ahead and purchased a house in Jumeirah for Olori Naomi because Olori Naomi had insisted she wanted to travel to Dubai to rest her head with all the buzzbots, everything that is happening in the palace of the owner of Ife that she is completely exhausted. Now, we also heard that she said she was going to relinquish the um, royal mansion in Lakey uh, 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 that she does not want anything again that belongs to the owner of Ife. We heard that a lot of people started, you know, giving Naomi bass, 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 that this is the problem that she has. When she's angry, she does not um, really, um, um, you know, uh, evaluate situations before she goes into them. And we even had um, a report that they even made reference to how she went on Instagram. And these are not people who are from just the only side. They say even her own family, they were very, very upset over the fact that she said she was going to relinquish the royal mansion. What value is this going to bring? Is this going to solve the problem? When you know you already have a child for the monarch, is what a lot of people were said to have been asking her. So right now the house in Dubai, they said the only of it purchased that house and gave um, papers to her, sent the papers to her, that when she goes to Dubai, she should just go there straight. The private jet was supposed to drop her and, um, and get her to Dubai. She um, uh, uh, declined using the private jet that she is not using the private jet. And the house in Dubai, she said she would rather sleep in a desert that, than sleep in that house, that she is not accepting anything from the Oni of Ife. And everybody's saying, why, 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 why? Well, in my own opinion, why is it that every time there is a problem, KBSC will go ahead? If everything we are hearing is true, okay, that is, is it true? Is it true? I put it to you. But if everything we are hearing is true, why is it that every time there is a problem, KBSC will buy um, stuff for Queen Naomi? It's a good thing that he is purchasing this thing. We can see that it's not even just Queen Naomi. He loves his children. Toby now owns a very big house, a beautiful house, what, 280 million. They say the total worth of that house is about 400 million because he had to renovate and all of that for Olori, Toby, and the twins. So, but why is it that he's so um, quick to giving Naomi stuff? when he should be fixing her. Now, when um, the owner of Ife bought this house for her, um, they said that it was something that was celebrated by people around her, but she never celebrated it. And right now, we are hearing this rumor that she said she would rather sleep in an open field with her son, Tade Nikawu, than sleep in that house. That Kabiesi cannot continue to buy her over with money. That Kabiesi needs to spell out where she belongs, show her her place in his life, or give her a divorce. And this divorce has to be an open divorce for the entire world to know that she's not no longer connected with the Oni of Ife, that she is a woman that was created to do the will of God. And in doing the will of God, you want to stay under a man to do it, that she was not created to be alone. She's a woman that loved to be under a man. Yes, so they said that was what she said, that if anything goes wrong, that if this does not happen, she's going to go ahead and get married and start her life all over again. And they say KBSC is feeling very bad over what Olorinam is saying, because they said in the place of, um, KBSC feels that this is coming from the place that Olori and um, Nami already has somebody, that there must be somebody that is giving Nami this, you know, authority to speak this way, that Nami is always emphasizing on remarrying. Yes, so that that is the one thing that is aching KBSC right now, that Nami is not just saying, give me a divorce. Nami is saying, give me a divorce so I can remarry. So what that means is that there is somebody there. But, you know, some people are saying, before Uncle, person no go day. Now, so Nami go just stay like this. Huh? Which woman? Me, I love it when women understand the necessity 
um, in, you know, having a spouse. You cannot be alone. You need that support system. And if you're blessed with a great star, uh, spouse, that can be, that would be the biggest support system you can have as a woman. And for a woman like Naomi, Naomi deserves to have somebody, somebody really great, somebody who will be there to support her through um, 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 the uh, ministry and all of that. And so I really feel like there, will, there should be no need for Kabiazu to continue to feel that if Nami is insisting on public divorce so that she can go ahead and get married, Nami is doing that because there is somebody already there. The truth is that if it is a quiet divorce, like um, just go, I free you, Yoruba people will not know. And there is a likelihood that she might want to end up with a Yoruba man again. You see, Nami likes her Yoruba people. You see, when she talks, she speaks. She speaks Yoruba with pride and all of that. Uh -huh. So anybody who might be interested in her may not want to go close to her because of the Oba. And Oba has to do it publicly, and that is what the family and herself, they are saying. Now we are hearing that rejecting the house in Dubai has really broken the heart of the Oni of Ife because Oni of Ife feels like Naomi should continue to understand irrespective of the, pre the, the predicament, the circumstances. Um, we have seen that um, recently a lot of people have gone to mock Naomi since um, 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 uh, Toby gave birth to her child. If you know um, very well, you know that this channel is not here to castigate any of your first wives. Neither is it here to castigate anybody. I, I, I will not do that. I'll be as objective as possible and, and, and always do, okay? When we heard that Toby um, was pregnant, I came here and I told you that, look, this is what we are hearing, you know, that Toby is um, pregnant. Toby is expecting a baby. And a lot of you um, um, said to me, don't say that, don't say that. She's not expecting a baby. She's not expecting. I said, well, this is what we are hearing. This is what I am hearing, that Toby is expecting a baby. And there was even a time I came here and told you that, yes, so I met a woman who said, um, um, yes, that they have seen Toby, that Toby is um, actually pregnant, okay? That they saw Toby in Lagos in a mall that she was heavily pregnant. Now, a lot of people get angry when you say um, Toby is actually expecting a baby. And um, um, it happens that way. Um, so I told you guys um, that um, Queen Naomi is not a kind of person that will be angry over... So sorry about that break. I had to attend to something. Okay, so Queen Nami is not the kind of person that will get angry over the fact that um, good is happening to other people. And that was why I had the courage to bring that to be um, pregnancy here. But um, without digressing much, it, it, it's been a whole lot with um, uh, Toby's um, um, babies, um, um, uh, elder saying she cannot come to the palace, she needs to go into the um, sacred forest, and she needs to do this, she needs to do that. It's been so much. And it is um, more, um, um, even, um, it, it comes with a lot of concern over the fact that the owner of Vifa is sitting down there and all of these things are happening. Now, if you were a woman, what would you do? Would you rather take a private jet, go across the uh, uh, country or the continent and have a house in Dubai, in Paris and all of that because the money is available? Where is your place? And that is exactly what Queen Naomi is asking. Where is my place? Show me my place. I'm not taking one more stuff from you again because every time something happens, you buy a gift. It can't continue like that. So we heard that allegedly you that Tabi and Kabi C teared up that he does not understand why um, Nami has gone back to this person that she is, and that um, people are busy um, um, talking into the heads, uh, the head and um, um, heart of Olori Nami. Nami is beginning to listen to people anymore. Nami needs to give him some time, and that uh, between now and June, the Oloris will leave and all of that. But People who love Nami and say Nami should be as firm as she is right now. Because it does seem as if any time Nami begins to smile with Oni of Ife, they start having their stuff. Oni will forget. Oni will just um, kind of believe that Nami will continue like that. The only time he begins to act is when Nami begins to behave like this. So Nami is saying, 
two things I'm not giving you any time. You need to show me where I belong or give me a divorce. And this time the divorce will be done publicly for the whole world to know because I am ready so, 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 so in the mood to start up my life all over again. But a lot of people are saying, oh, Lori, Naomi may have fallen in love. I don't know. That's what I heard. But if you know Naomi, Naomi is not like that. Naomi is somebody who is very serious minded. Naomi will want to close this chapter before she starts up a new situation because the way this is going, it's not looking any good. And it's not something that gives you that morale to want to go. You want to start up a, re a new relationship to what, e to what end if Kabi BSC has not freed her. So Nami is a very re reasonable person. I do think that this has got absolutely nothing to do with starting up a new relationship. But that is exactly where the mind of KBSC is going to because they say he teared up when Nami rejected that offer. And Nami said that she is going to Dubai and she's going to stay wherever she pleases. Like instead of her to go and stay in that house that the only of Ife um, uh, gave to her, she would rather stay in an open field or a desert. Um, with her son, and they said this, eh, they matter really Pepe Kabiesi. That they matter Pepe Kabiesi no be small thing you know, until Kabiesi teared up and started calling uh, people that Nami is beginning to listen again uh, to a lot of people. They, are the, they were the ones who canceled her before. The canceling didn't take her anywhere. Nothing happened, and now they have started again, and she is listening all because she rejected the Dubai house. I'm going to bring you more updates. I appreciate you so much. Do not forget these are all alleged information. I'm going to bring you more update. Thank you so much.